The early days of Atlas's Persona series were certainly, hmm, rather rough around the edges, and I'm not talking about the games themselves, but rather their Western localizations. Take the very first game in the series, for example. Released in 1996 for the PlayStation, Atlas thought it would be a good idea to try and westernize as much of the game as possible, going as far as to redesign the characters to a more American appearance. The worst affected by this was definitely Masao, or Mark as he was called in the translated version. Over in the West, he was given a baseball cap, changed ethnicity to African American, and had his personality changed to that of a stereotypical hip-hop sort of guy. Thankfully, these issues were fixed with the enhanced PSP release, albeit a whopping 13 years later. Anyway, moving on to Persona 2, Innocent Sin. This time, the game wasn't even released at all. The Japanese version contained some rather controversial themes, such as the appearance of Hitler as one of the main villains. And it was speculated that this put Atlas off localizing the title. When asked about this in a much later interview, however, the blame was put on things such as resources and manpower. Thankfully, though, there's a fan translation floating around if you're interested in trying this version of the game. Next up was Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. As hinted in the title, the game was a true sequel to Persona 2 Innocent Sin. But this time, the game actually was released in the West, so everyone outside of Japan only got the second part of this two-part series, which, of course, sucks for everybody who cares about following the story. Unlike the earlier mentioned Persona 1, this localization attempted to keep the Japanese setting intact as much as possible. There was, however, a rather strange case of censorship though, and, well, first let's just see if you can guess how this zombie junkie was censored outside of Japan. In the Japanese version of the game, this zombie is a straight-up junkie. But elsewhere, the zombie was changed into a junk food junkie that then turned into a zombie. The zombies also make an appearance in Innocent Sin, but as stated, the PS1 version wasn't released in the West. The PSP version, on the other hand, was, and it at last uncensored the description as shown. So the PSP release finally allowed the West to play the controversial, previously unavailable Innocent Sin, and it even uncensored some stuff. Cool, right? Yeah, well, sadly, it censored much, much more than it restored. Remember good old Hitler? Yeah, well, this is what he looks like now. Dang, man, where'd you get them shades at? Hitler's name was simply changed to Führer, and he was given a coat to hide his Nazi uniform. And then there are, of course, those sunglasses. This was a change that actually made it in Japan as well, due to the Japanese rating system's rules on using real people in works of fiction. Although, because of the extreme lengths of the censorship, it is thought that it was also done to prepare for the Western release. Remember, Nazi imagery is straight up banned in German versions of games, for example. And it wasn't just Hitler. The Nazis are a huge part of the game's story, and all instances of swastikas were removed. As always, thanks for watching. Censored Gaming is the definitive resource for censorship. Make sure you have subscribed to stay up to date with the latest edits in games. And why not check out my channel too? I recently released a video asking the question, how strong is Saitama of One Punch Man? And I answer it with science. I hope to see you there, and stay awesome.